What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and you've already been mining. You're now mining to a layer two solution known as Polygon and Matic, if you follow the last two guides. And now you're like, well, how do I make more money? And that's what we're here to do. First of all, disclaimer, this is not financial advice, and there is risk involved. There is possibly more risk involved than purely mining, especially at this point, because you would be technically holding these investments for longer. So the longer you hold an investment, the more risk there is. The more risk there is though, however, there is more reward possibility. So we're gonna get into it right after a word from our sponsor. At this point, most of you should be familiar with today's sponsor, Prime XBT. As such, they want me to take this time to provide a short update on the Prime XBT platform. If you remember, they have a fantastic copy trading module where you can follow the strategies of established traders. There has been massive volatility in the market recently, but you can find traders that make money on both sides of the market and follow their strategies. It doesn't matter if the market is going up or down, there are always opportunities. Pay attention to the descriptors. For example, if the word short is contained within the name, it's likely the trader is on the bearish side of the market. And during a falling market, it's better to follow a strategy where the trader leans towards trading bear markets. Register an account with Prime XBT, take a look and do your own research. The platform contains many statistics to help determine which trader suits your style, but ultimately it's your decision on how you invest. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. Welcome back. So today what we're going to be looking at is AAVE. AAVE is basically the first DeFi platform to support Polygon. This is a big deal because we are talking about a decentralized finance option here that is on layer two, which means you have reduced fees to get in, especially if you're already mining through Ethermine to the Matic network. And it's going to basically help you do what a lot of people are doing right now already with platforms like BlockFi and Crypto.com, except you control your keys. So once again, we're going to pound this home, not your keys, not your crypto. So this is a way you can earn interest on your crypto while still controlling your keys. And you get to reduce the fees thanks to the Polygon network and, of course, Ethermine adopting it, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look. First things first is if you haven't set this up, go watch the how to mine or get daily payouts while mining Ethereum how to video. Then obviously you should go ahead and watch the video on how to swap to Matic so you understand the quick swap tool. And then if you haven't connected this yet, your MetaMask will need to be connected to the Matic mainnet. And these that is in the previous guide, so definitely check that out, but this is the documentation for it. If you go ahead and head on over to your wallet.matic.network, this will have, of course, your current holdings. We swapped in the last video our Ethereum that we had mined to Matic, and now we are ready to head on over to AAVE. So if you head on over to app.aave.com, you will need to connect your wallet. You can do that by clicking the connect button up here in the top right. And there are a whole bunch of different wallets here. You have, you know, your browser wallets, your ledgers, etc. In this particular case though, we need to do a couple things. So we want to connect to the Polygon mainnet and that will automatically give us less wallet options here. And then you are gonna to need to use the browser wallet because currently the way the payouts work is Ethermine only connects to the MetaMask wallet. So my assumption is you've already been using that and you haven't moved it over to Trust Wallet or Engine or Portis or Wallet Connect or Taurus at this point. So we're gonna use MetaMask as the option. We're gonna click connect and now we are connected. If you have issues, you can always go up to your MetaMask wallet, make sure that you select the Matic mainnet and not the Ethereum mainnet. Okay, so now that we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to deposit. Under the deposit window, you're gonna to want to select the coin that you want to deposit. 
Over on the right has the APY percentage, 3.17% currently for Matic. You have DAI as an option on this, USDC, USDT with the highest interest rate right now. And then you have your WETH, your WBTC, and your AAVE. The important thing to note here is that this would all be done in the quickswap.exchange. If you wanted to say, um, essentially deposit DAI instead of MATIC to this solution, then what you would end up doing is swapping your MATIC to DAI and then coming back to a, the AAVE app and going ahead and depositing the DAI. That's gonna be the same across the board. Now, here's the thing about that. If you are going to go with a stable coin, those are going to stay as close to the US dollar as possible. So what this is really intending for you to do in the future is once you deposit, you're going to be able to borrow. And we'll talk about that in a, in a, maybe here in just a second. But for now, all you need to do is click the Matic if you've been following the guides previously. And we're going to go ahead and deposit 250 Matic. So at this point, we're just gonna go into the highlight field and we're gonna deposit 250. That leaves me, you know, 13 Matic in the wallet accessible in case I wanted to do something like uh, convert it, et cetera. Another note is because I'm using Matic, we do have the possibility of, even if we borrow against it, the Matic price going up. All right, so we're gonna click continue and then we are going to click deposit and we are going to confirm within our MetaMask wallet. So at this point we have we are confirmed and we're going to head on over to the dashboard and we can see here that we have 250 deposited and that is worth 412 US dollars. We can basically select to use for collateral. So collateral is what's going to let us borrow something else. So we could say yes or no. I'll go back. I don't want to do that yet. All right. And if you select no, you basically go through it and it'll stop it from being added to collateral. So now at this point, what you can do is go into your borrow and you could borrow against your collateral. Now, some people do this for a lot of different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is to use something to stake. Uh, another reason would be for trading. So you could borrow against basically your own collateral at this point. And what you'll see here is that based on my collateral, which is the $400, we can borrow 125 Matic. We could borrow 205 die and so on and so forth at these interest rates. So you have the 10% on the Matic which we wouldn't want to do because we already have the Matic. We could do the 3.9% on the DAI. There's the USDC, Tether, and so on. Now, some of the things people are doing is you can change your market. So if we changed our market to like V2, for example, we would have some additional options. But because we are within the market, the Matic market on the Matic main net, we aren't able to actually borrow. We would actually have to deposit specifically to this particular, which is the Ethereum main net. Just to give you guys an idea, that's what the change market is for. Now, what you could do in this particular case is we could go ahead and borrow some USDC and then we could go back and we could go to quickswap.exchange quick and swap for AAVE. If we did that, and like let's say we got like $206 worth of AAVE, we could then come into our staking and double up on that by staking AAVE. And in that case, what we would basically essentially be doing is not only earning the mining rewards, but we would also be earning the APY on the Matic that we have deposited for people to borrow against. And then on top of that, if we borrowed against our own collateral and swapped it for AAVE, we could also earn the staking rewards for AAVE. The staking APR currently is 7.1%. 
with a current max slashing of 30%. And we can go over all of this in another video where we will talk about staking AAVE and how to do that. But that is basically the concept here is you're using decentralized finance to basically generate more revenue off of the Ethereum that you have mined. And this is all enabled to be a lot less on fees, etc. thanks to, of course, Ethermine at this point. So it is a big deal. And hopefully these how-tos are starting to demonstrate how all of this functions together and why it was important that Ethermine did enable this because without it essentially you would be doing maybe something like BlockFi which nothing against BlockFi but it is centralized this is a truly decentralized platform to participate in decentralized finance so that's the story hope the how-to was helpful be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about AAVE being a layer two decentralized finance option. And of course, how Ethermind is enabling miners to start participating without spending all these fees getting into it. And we have done Uniswap before, but as you guys have seen, we get killed on fees whenever we try to participate in decentralized finance on that particular one. There is also adding liquidity, speaking of which, on Quick Exchange that you can do. So you could do a pairing of ETH and Matic. And if you'd like a guide on that, we will work on that as well. Tons of content to get through. I'm trying to crank out videos. Hopefully you find them helpful. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.